and welcome back to the channel. Shane Manley here, Massive Electric. Uh, I got a good one for you today. Uh, it's a question uh, about a common issue that uh, comes up nowadays with LED lighting. So before I get started, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Uploading two to three videos a week now. Uh, for you non-electricians and homeowners with questions about troubleshooting and general electrical questions. Uh, try to put the cookie on the bottom shelf, not making things overly complicated. Not a how-to channel, not a code channel. Mike Holt will do that for you if you have those type of questions. But I am ideas and uh, answer questions for you. Making complicated so-called complicated issues uh, easy to understand also down in the comments I have a question for you to answer how many of you have put in lights replaced light fixtures or added recess lighting on your own normally adding lighting or replacing lighting is pretty straightforward it's pretty easy um, but with LED being electronic they are very sensitive to a number of things which I've talked about in other videos uh, but uh, so if you do even one little thing incorrectly, you know, it might not trip the breaker, but it'll cause goofy things to happen with your LED lighting. So, so someone had installed LED lighting, uh, recessed lighting, and the lights turn on normally with a switch, standard single pole toggle switch, but the lights do not turn off completely. Uh, when you shut the switch off, the light cuts down 80-90%, but they do not turn off completely. So, what is the issue? What's happening here? So, I've heard a lot of theories and ideas about this situation. Um, but, with LED lighting, because it's electronic... Unlike an incandescent bulb, which we've talked about this before, incandescent doesn't care about the voltage. Now, obviously, if the voltage is too high with an incandescent bulb or it's far too low, the bulb won't work. But, you know, incandescent bulbs, they don't care if the voltage is 120 or 130 volts or if it's like 110 or 100 or 90 volts even, the light bulb will still turn on. Uh, and that's with a standard switch. So if there's something goofy going on in the circuit and you get a strange voltage and an incandescent bulb, won't care, it'll still work. With LED, because they're very sensitive to voltage, moisture, vibration, temperature, incorrect voltage, uh, all these things affect either the performance or the life of the LED itself. So keeping that in mind, if you wire a lighting circuit incorrectly to where the light turns on and the light sees 120 volt and it's happy and it works, but you turn the switch off and the light cuts down to some percentage, maybe 10 or 15%, but it doesn't turn off. What do you think causes that? What could cause that? Well, normally, and I think one of my last videos that I just did last week, actually, I talked about switches and wiring switches. And if you wire a switch, normally a switch controls the hot circuit or the switch leg. Uh, that is, the neutral wire doesn't touch the switch. The neutral goes through the switch box or it goes directly to the light, but it doesn't touch the switch. So the switch itself sees a hot wire and then a switch leg that goes to the light or light fixture or a lighting circuit. So that when you turn the switch off, it turns the lights off. So what happens in these cases when you have a light that turns on and when you go to turn it off, it doesn't turn off all the way. It just turns off most of the way, but the light stays on. So sometimes 
I've seen this situation where it's not noticeable during the day. So in the daytime, if you use the lights and then you go to turn them off, the the LED stays on so faintly that it's really not noticeable. But at nighttime, it is. So if you have lights in your room, say you put recessed lights in there, you uh, use the lights at night, turn them off, and then the light is just so dim, it might not even be on 10%, it might be 5%. Um, but the light is on noticeably so that you go to turn the lights off, you know, and they're not off. They're, they're still on as if you had it on like a low dim, uh, as if it was on a dimmer. But it's a standard light switch and it should be off. So in this case, uh, if you don't wire the switch like we spoke about uh, last week, which is switching the hot wire, and this can happen in older homes, particularly with uh, wiring that the black and the white or the hot and the neutral is not clearly identified uh, in some older early non-metallic uh, uh, wiring and even like the cloth knob and tube wiring, very, very old wiring. The, the hot and the neutral is not visibly distinctive so that you can't necessarily see a hot or that is you can't necessarily see a, a black and a white wire. Uh, sometimes <clears throat> with the old um, cloth wrapped type wire, it would be Maybe at one point in time it was black and white, uh, but a lot of the color had faded over the years. Sometimes it's hard to tell just by looking at the wire. And um, so without testing it, and in fact, in many of these cases, you don't have a ground, so it's hard to test it. If you put your multimeter across a hot and a neutral, it's not going to show you which wire is hot. It's just going to tell you the voltage between those two wires. So you kind of need a non-contact tester in this situation when there's no ground to determine where the hot wire is. Um, and so it could easily be that uh, in this type of situation when you can't tell the hot and the neutral or you don't recognize the importance of switching the hot and not the neutral where you just grab a wire, put it on the switch, and then you're not switching the correct wire, which means... If you switch the neutral, or the white wire, that is, um, you're going to come up with a situation where the light itself, when the switch is on, it sees 120 volt, the circuit's closed, and the light comes on and it performs normally. But when the switch is off, and you switch the neutral, the neutral is on the switch, the hot wire passes the switch and the hot wire goes directly to the light. In this case, the light, the LED light, is going to see 120 volt. But it's going to perform like an open neutral. As if there was a problem in the circuit. And this, if you have lights that are on faintly, uh, this is actually part of a troubleshooting technique is understanding that you have an open neutral sometimes, possibly. Uh, but if you switch the neutral, you will have an open neutral when the switch is off. And the light, even when the switch is off, the light is still going to see voltage on the hot wire coming to the light itself. But with an open neutral, the neutral isn't completing the circuit. And the light wants to, it, the LED wants to, it needs a full 120 volt with a closed circuit uh, to perform properly. Uh, and without that neutral being uh, closed, with, without that neutral being wired properly uh, and you shutting off the switch, it opens the circuit where the neutral is at. Hot, the hot wire electricity is getting to the LED light itself, but it's not completing the path uh, in the circuit. And so if you have a ground and it's properly grounded, um, without testing it, I can't say off the top of my head, but it, it could, it's possible that the light might work. Um, but without a ground, 
the light will not perform properly with an, with an open neutral or a switched neutral uh, because it needs to see that path of electrons between the hot and the neutral back to the panel for the LED element to work uh, like it's supposed to. So check that. Put in LED lights, one light fixture or a set of recessed lights in a room and you put it on a standard switch. We're not talking about a vacancy sensor or a dimmer or nothing electronics, just a standard toggle switch. And the lights don't work well if they turn on normally, but they do not turn off like they're supposed to. Check for an open neutral in the circuit and or check to make sure that you are not switching the neutral at the switch itself. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that the black wire is on the switch and the neutral wire is bypassing the switch to go to the light. If someone mixed up the wire somewhere else in the circuit and the the black wire was inter, you know switched up with the neutral and the white wire is energized and the black wire is the neutral, just by looking at it, you won't know. Um, so you probably also want to test it. I would test it to make sure that the, the black wire is your hot wire in this case, uh, because it could be somewhere else in the circuit. But you can check the switch. If everything else in the house is working properly, uh, especially the lighting or the lighting circuit in that part of the house and everything is working like it ought to, check to make sure that your neutral is not being switched at the light switch. So pretty easy, something to check. Um, and that's about it. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, it's not super complicated in this case. I know sometimes if, when electrical issues come up, um, you can pull your hair out trying to figure why it's happening. And in a lot of cases, people might put in new lights and they're thinking that it's the new lights, but it's not the new lights. It's the wiring in the circuit or the switch. So like I say, anyway, hope, hopefully the video is helpful for you today. Um, Check out, I got a bunch of videos. You'll see a, a playlist pop up here. Um, you know, check out some other videos and uh, send me an email or a comment or a DM, or you can hit me up on Instagram if you got questions. I'd love to help and answer questions for you. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.